Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making a Fat Bomb charcuterie board. Take a look at these, they're so perfect. We are making four different flavors that you are going to be obsessed with. I know a lot of you are like, wait, what, Fat Bombs? Like it sounds scary, but no, hear me out. With Fat Bombs, they actually keep you full longer. It's gonna give you like a major energy boost. And I don't know if this happens to you, but sometimes after you eat, you feel like, oh, I'm not like 100% satisfied. And you might feel like you still wanna pick at like little foods. This is exactly what these are for. They're gonna help you stay satiated, help you stay full, and keep you from snacking on other foods throughout the day. So it's one of the ways that I, um, this is one of the things that I utilize to help me from like snacking throughout the day, if that makes sense. But of course, they're super delicious. So we're gonna get started with our lemon fat bombs first. As you can see, I already have everything laid out. This is like a little lemon cheesecake fat bomb, okay? So we have softened cream cheese and we're just gonna put everything into the bowl. This is how easy they are to make. And of course, this is like a meal prep, right? You're going to, or like a dessert prep. You're gonna uh, make them and then you can store these in a little bag and um, you know, just grab one whenever you need it. So we have softened cream cheese, softened butter. Then we have our sweetener. So you guys know I like to use allulose. Um, if you don't know where to get it, I have it linked down below in the description. Um, and I have actually everything that I use um, down there so that you guys know. So then here we have our lemon zest. Boom, 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 throw that in. I love lemon, like lemon is my absolute favorite like flavor. And then we have our little vanilla, tiny, cause that's extract. If you're using flavor, you can use a tiny bit more. And then we have our lemon juice. Pour that all in. And now you can use whatever you have. I'm gonna use a little stand, a little hand mixer and I'm gonna show you how easy this is to make. But you saw, I mean, it literally took me, if I wasn't you know, talking to you guys, then it would have taken me like 30 seconds to throw everything in. Okay, so now we mix. Okay, and of course you always wanna taste it and see if it needs more sweetener or I'm gonna add like a little pinch of salt cause I like to add salt. I feel like salt always enhances the flavors and um, yeah, it just goes perfect with sweetener. Okay, so I just tasted the batter and I did add a little more liquid sweetener and a little vanilla. So of course you wanna taste your batter, make sure it's perfect before you have it set. Okay, so I'm using a little silicone mold which is also linked down below and you're just gonna get, you know, you can use a little ice cream scooper or whatever you have. I'm just using a little baby spatula and you, I don't know, this is probably about a tablespoon, a little less, but I'm gonna end up filling it up. I just don't want it to get all messy. And uh, then we will just scrape it and I'll show you when it's all done. Okay, so now we're gonna let it sit in the freezer. Okay, so now we're moving on to our chocolate peanut butter fat bombs. And we're gonna start off with melted coconut oil. So again, super, super simple. Just throwing everything into the bowl. So coconut oil, um, you can use coconut, you can use MCT oil. I don't know if you're familiar with MCT oil, but it's gonna be, um, it just really helps for mental clarity, for an energy boost. It's almost like you can think of it as like a concentrated coconut oil. So that was unsweetened cocoa powder. Then we have our sweetener, and this is just uh, powdered allulose. Then we have a little pinch of salt. Then we have our cinnamon. I love cinnamon, but if you don't like cinnamon, then obviously, you know, don't add that. Give it a little mix. And we are going to add our peanut butter. You can use almond butter, any nut butter of choice. I'm sure you can even use um, 
like coconut butter. I don't know if you've ever tried coconut butter, but it is not, I repeat, it is not like coconut oil. Coconut butter is almost like a, it's like a, like a nut butter. Think of it as peanut butter, macadamia nut butter, um, almond butter, it's the same thing. It's coconut butter. So it's kind of like the little meat is blended. It's so delicious. So um, just gonna mix this up. That's that's the extent of the fat bomb. Like this is it. I was gonna make it into a chocolate mold, but we're gonna actually use these because they're so cute. We're actually using these little donut molds. We're making little mini donuts. So you can see that right now it is very liquidy, but this will obviously set in the freezer. So let's go ahead and pour them into our little donut mold and then these will set. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add some little flaky salt. I love flaky salt on chocolate. It's like, or on sweets, it's so good. But if you don't like salt, like the salted caramel, then don't. I'm going a little heavy on that. But honestly, I just love the contrast of sweet and salty. Okay, so we have that and now Again, this is optional, but you can add your little almonds. Uh, these are slivered almonds that I just kind of crushed. Um, you can do just like chopped almonds, almond slice, you know, whatever. Any nut, actually. Macadamia nuts, if you want to keep it super, super, um, you know, low in carbs and higher in fat. Okay, so now we're going to let these set. Okay, so now we're moving on to our cookie dough. So now we're just gonna mix everything into one bowl. So here we have our almond flour, we have our softened cream cheese, softened butter, and remember, it's just going all in here. We have powdered sweetener, I'm using allulose, and I do have this link down below so you know exactly what I'm using. We have a little Redmond salt, that is also linked down below. I have a discount code, which is low carb love. And then we have our vanilla extract. So now we're just gonna go ahead and mix this together. Okay, so now we have our dough and we're gonna put in our chocolate chips. And these are the milk chocolates. I love milk chocolate and white chocolate, of course, but um, if you like dark chocolate, then of course get some sugar-free dark chocolate. These are the ones I use, which are by Chalk Zero. They're absolutely delicious. And uh, they are linked down below. I do have a discount code, which is low carb love. And now let's go ahead and just mix this together. But this is the perfect little treat when you are craving sweets. Okay, so we're just gonna put them in the freezer for about 30 minutes to an hour or until they're set. So while that recipe sets, we're gonna get started on our strawberry cheesecake fat bombs. As you can see, I have everything set out here. So we have our cream cheese. We have our heavy cream. Ooh, we have our quarter cup of heavy cream. And the cream cheese was just softened. It wasn't, you know, it doesn't have to be melted or anything like that. And then we have our little butter, it's two tablespoons. Boom, boom, boom. We have our sweetener, which is two tablespoons of our allulose. Um, and that is, of course, linked below. And then we have our little vanilla. And then we have our strawberries. This is roughly about a third cup. Okay, so here we have our uh, strawberry cheesecake fat bombs. Now, if you want your, so mine, as you can tell, there are like actual chunks. I love it that way. But if you want yours to be, you can obviously dice them smaller or even um, put them through the food processor. So we're gonna use an ice cream scooper. We're just gonna do like a little scoop. Put it right into our silicone liners. Yeah, I would say this is kind of like a no-bake cheesecake recipe. Um, it tastes like it for sure. 
Okay, so right now I'm just tapping them to flatten them a bit. Before I put them in the freezer, I chopped up a little bit of some fresh strawberries. So we're just gonna put some on top and then we're gonna place these into the freezer. And just like a little treat, additional. This is completely optional, obviously, but for the sake of pretty fat bombs, we are going to top them. Now we're gonna put these in the freezer to set. Okay, so I'm seriously sitting here just wanting to eat all of it. But, okay, so here we have, this is like a little lemon cheesecake, fat bomb. Strawberry cheesecake, fat bomb. And then this is our cookie dough, and then we have our little, um, like chocolate with almond, fat bomb. So these all go in the freezer. You can store them in like a little glass container, in a Ziploc, and what, I mean, whatever you store your stuff in. But these are per like the perfect size. So as you can see, they're just very like portion controlled out, you know? So these have been sitting out on the board and they're a little soft, but like when you have them in the freezer, of course you can get it out and like bite right into it. And it's, um, it's frozen, but you can still bite it. So I can't pick it up now cause it's been, oh wait. Yeah, it's been sitting out here for a bit, but we're still gonna taste those because I love strawberry cheesecake. So let's do the taste test. Okay, so let's go ahead and taste. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Tastes like a little cheesecake. So I'm obsessed with cheesecake. These are the lemon ones. Mm. I love lemon. Mmm. Oh my God. I don't know, I think those are my favorite. But and then we have the little, these are the little cookie dough. So if you like cookie dough, I'll throw it on the side so I don't. Mm -mm -mm. Very good. Okay, and then in our little mini donut, we have a chocolate peanut butter fat bomb. And these are absolutely delicious. Mm. I've been making this for over three years. Mm -hmm. I guess I should try these. Oh my God. These are so delicious. Whichever one you choose to make or make all of them so you have a variety. And whenever you that sweet tooth hits, then you have options, options. We need options. For the recipe, I have a link down below to my blog where you can actually print out the recipe. And I also have exclusive recipes on there that are not here on YouTube. So make sure that you check them out. And if you still want a little more of me, make sure you're following me on Instagram and on TikTok where I just show, share more uh, recipe ideas and a glimpse into my everyday life. So thanks for being here with me guys and I will see you on the next video. Mwah.